It's been amazing some of the ways that God has brought that. Literally, we would be praying for the finances of where God called us to go, and He would provide, and then some of the provision would be there when we got there, and then some of the provision would be waiting on us when we got back home. You know, unless God builds a house, those that labor to build it labor in vain. You know, and, and I've, I've got a past in ministry, and, and there were a lot of times that I ministered out of my own strength, and you know what that got me? Tired. <laughs> tired. Yeah. It was tired, you know. Uh, you know, good ideas might come through. <coughs> God ideas must come through. Wow. I think I want the glory and I want the God ideas. Yeah. And, you know, the beautiful thing about this is sometimes we're, we're planning to go and we hear the Lord speak to us like uh, going to glory of Zion. And then we get a redirect to, to uh, somewhere in Colorado uh -huh. to see restoration happen uh -huh. in somebody's life. Because like what uh, Tom has been saying and what the Holy Spirit is saying right now in preparation for the harvest. Because the real, the real restoration is between our Heavenly Father and between, between His children and the hearts that His heart is reaching out to. The harvest. And it's coming. <laughs> But we got we were able to see that. Uh, somebody had on Facebook this morning the definition of the word restore. And to restore something, and I'm probably going to botch it bad, but basically it's to bring something back to its original state. But when God restores something, when God brings something together, it's better than it ever was. He, he provides increase. Whenever He restores something... He brings increase. Of, and in other words, there's no sorrow attached to it. And 